haji barahu adimo tuela i haji rore mudaka ora ora ria tuela i fue na re re to tare la i fu do gi hora haji ro a diga na he na kinetu aki ana ta he na kinetu aki aina kinetu aki no to kiare ri ha so now eh ah ne ga mudhe ne mweri the mudhe nya mweri shout out to the moon day they rule by the moon aka the influences or what you call the filtration that you are getting from that solar plexus will be our reflection so it's a moon day okay but it's a moon day and the sun is in cancer so there'll be a lot of that reflection of the cancer energy aka the fourth house or what you call summertime or what you call the noah's flood zasa to go live are we live i don't think i think me hang hakuna like kata moja oh so i call live I don't think. I think we talk about network. Kama umetoka unaweza acha nayo. Si lazima unaweza acha nayo. Unaweza iweka. Unaweza iweka kwa nini? Unaweza iweka kwa kwa YouTube ama Facebook. Ore hapa hivi hapo kuna network. Kama imerudi. Are we back? Ilikuwa tumehanga ama kulikuwa kumeenda aje? Tukua tumehang. Because now there is likes. Aguku wana like. Now I can see we have a few likes. We have like a hundred likes. And counting. So, um, welcome to Monday. Esoteric quickie. <laughs> so we are going to jump into um, a quick ESO dive. Okay. Uh, it is what you call a moon day, aka you are receiving the influence of the moon, and the sun is now in the fourth house, or what you call Noah's Ark, or what you call Cancer, or what you call the Great Flood. So to be talking Sodom and Gomorrah, or when the sun is in Gemini. So now, um, Let's talk about you. Let's talk about nothing because you are nothing. <laughs> Since you came from nothing, aka God is nothing because God is not a thing, God is not title, meaning God is not physical, meaning God is not a metaphysical. So God is neither physical nor metaphysical. So that means God is no thing. Like you see nothing, like how you put it at nothing. No, it's no thing. Like there's no thing there. There's no physical or there's no metaphysical. So it's a no thing. It's just a space. Okay, what you call the void. So in the beginning, the world was, was void and no shape. So that no shape, no shape means no form. No form means no vibration or it means what you can call... Um, uh, frequency, that which has no frequency in the beginning, okay, before the start to answer the, 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 the pulse or the expansion and the contraction or what you call um, birth and death. So now, since you as a spirit, you came from nothing, that awareness that God is nothing, is not physical and it's not also metaphysical, so it's no thing. Since you came from no thing, AKA, since you came from space, just a space, a space of awareness, some space, there's always space within spaces. That is why you can be in my space, but you're not in my space. AKA, you are watching me, you're in my space, but wherever you are in a location, you are not in the same space. So there's always spaces within spaces. All the way to how you can even have someone in your heart. I have them in my heart. You can have someone inside you, but they're not inside you. All the way to the point you say, when they died, a piece of me died. Okay, there's always be spaces within spaces. Learn the, the metaphysics before the physics. Or 
uh, the, 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 the speculative before the operative or the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension, a.k.a. where you are creating the thoughts and feelings and then you separate it from the one, two, and three, the death of those thoughts, a.k.a. now when they bend in on themselves, become dense, okay, start to matter, vibrate, now that thing has shape, matter, manifest as something physical, something you can keep, something you can walk on. <laughs> or sleep on, <laughs> or sit on, <laughs> or lie on, <laughs> aka make a bed, <laughs> and then you can be the one to lay in your bed. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so when you go to that space, that space is what you are always trying to do, because you are always going trying to go back to the space you are in before you fell. But the space you are in before you fell, before you became aware, was a place of nothing. But the thing is, you are trying to go back to that nothingness with something. So you are trying to go with a religion. You are trying to go back with culture. You are trying to go back with a language. You are trying to go back with, a, with an idea that this is the only way, either being too righteous or be too left field, too separative, too, uh, 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 too what you call, this is where now you get the terms, uh, radicalized coming in and, 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 and wall out like kind of energy, which is the energy of the warlocks, which is a spiritual warfare. Okiskiam to a warlord, Kama Museveni. In the spiritual world, we are talking of warlocks. These are uh, bloodlines that have been in rulership for thousands of years, all these rebels. So this has got nothing to do with him as a president. This has got everything to do with the bloodline, how we go into bloodline wars and bloodstreams, and even why you, you can be born, five of you in a family, and you are not sharing the same blood, yet you are from the same father and mother. So <clears throat> that shows about different bloodstreams. So we have bloodstreams, bloodlines, and Avituka Aizo, all the way to the royal families, and them wanting to maintain their pure blood races to the point now they are doing what you call practicing incest or intermarrying to keep a pure race akina um, uh, Hitler, why they were talking of a pure race, uh, trying to go back to endogamy, aka pathing from your own experiences your own thoughts and feelings as a ritual before we get there, that's a physical the physical, like what it is, exactly what it means so you are trying to go back to the nothingness which is the God with something. And so every time you come to God, God and Angaria and Ashinua, what is this now? You are like, hey, this is me, Jagao Amovaka. What did you bring? <laughs> I brought this spirituality. God will be looking at me like, but I am nothing. I am nothing. I am no physical. I am no metaphysical. I am nothing. I'm God. I'm pure. So how dare you come back to me with some knowledge? How dare you come to me with some with some with some PhD? How dare you come to me with some doctorate? How dare you come to me with some business entertainment? You get? So you can only go back to God with what you have created, a one of a kind, your own patent, your own intellectual property right of how you can participate in this world in your own way. Okay? That's how when you go to God, you show God, God, look, what did you do? I created nothing, okay? Or I created something out of nothing, the nothingness, but some, that something, I made it so easy, it looked like nothing. For me, it was nothing. For me, it was a walk in the park. For me, it was nothing. And God will look at you like, okay, come here, child. Come here, Jagawam, Daka. Come here, child. You are getting it. You are almost getting it. But since you are doing so much, panda stairs, kidogo, apo, panda apo, panda apo, ukisoma, soma, apo, panda apo, elevate kidogo, kali apo, sasa, eh? eh don't, don't, don't be naughty, eh? Eh, 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 eh? Don't take it for granted, eh? Maintain your ass there now, 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 now. Be on that frequency. Yeah, I'm saying so. Shout out to everyone in the comments. <laughs> on a Monday. <laughs> eh, no, it's time. It's time to flood you. That's why we're going to be able to get out of here. We're going to be able to get out It's summertime. It's sunny in Noah. <clears throat> eh, we have a new moon in Noah. The fourth house. Cancer. Heart area. Sasa hapa kama una safina shauri yako. Oh, too much esoteric knowledge. Ungeku umetengeneza safina. Practicing the 12 disciples ritual. Na bado tunenda Lion of Judah after 30 days. 
<laughs> when the sun moves into what? <laughs> Leo sign, the tribe of Judah. Tunaenda hapo. Eh, sasa if you don't know how to practice the rituals as above so below, inakupatanga unasema kimekuramba. But once you understand thyself, once you understand the allegories in the Bible, how to decor them, how to read that book the way you're supposed to read it, to practice your rituals and spell, practice your hour rituals and spell, the risings, the settings, when to be happy, when to be planting, when to be sowing. Okay? Micro to the macro. When you become in alignment with your faith, belief, and imagination, anything is possible because you're in the polarity of all possibilities. Okay? Misasa, kabaridi kameanza. So, let me get going. Kabaridi kamekuja. Kameteremuka tu maramoja. Hua! Nimesikia nipo zimeharden. Kashindo wa mudhaka, why are you getting excited? Why are you, why is your big chest? Why is the nipples hardening? Huh? Uh, yeah, maybe it's the cold. So, uh, shout out to everyone in the comments. Uh, kuna, ko, uh, kuna Dan. Kuna mtu wa me like, eh? Me like. Aona Dan. Dan. Aonu wale club, Dan. Yeah. Aonu wale club, Dan. There are thousand, there are, are thousand likes. Thank you very much for your thousand likes. Dan, watu watatu. So, wengine wana watch tu. Atazi jafika 10,000. They are, they are stingy with their likes, but this is too much knowledge for them, so they can't fathom it. It's scary, because it looks like it's coming from one of them. They're like, oh, shit, this is too much information. I can only hate. How can this be? How can this be? So shout out to everyone who came through. You do have a beautiful day. It is a Monday. So... It's a Monday. I can speak any way I want. I have my own commandments. Thou shalt take the message. Thou shalt not hate the messenger. I'm saying so. Aburaniki ya domira ekisi. Nyaburanya, buranya, burane dari yakwa. Dige motiga, nyaburane dari yakwa. I've seen kiki to kinaka hat. Sinonanga hat wa ksemati. Oh, hat. Oh, 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 oh. They have to make you look like even silly, begging for likes. Oh, tap, tap the screen, tap, tap, tap. Ha. Why should you tap, tap the screen? Why? Why? Si wacha watu wafanya video zao. Why? They put you in a program. And it's a lie. Because people will be tapping. And they know it's a lie. But you are tapping. You are liking the nonsense, the bullshit. But you are, you are tapping the screen. It's, it's, it's exciting. So you're not typing because it's good. Because it's exciting. It's bullshit. Nikunyonga. But you are tapping the screen. Toa zote. Toa zote. You are liking. So that's how you know that everything is a lie. Because that's how you tap. You are not tapping because you want. to tap to juile. Waja tutu yake yu video, mazei video isi yanguke. You know, na, they put you in a program where you still have to sell your soul. It's so disgusting. I fight kuwa ivo. People should just watch and watch without having to say whether they are liking or they are not liking. Okay? Sasa. But then again, it is. It is their world, eh? Jagada <clears> yudhayu. <throat> How do I create my own program? <laughs> The moment you make the question, the moment you question, the moment you get, you got that idea, the moment you had an idea that you can create one, you have already created one. <laughs> the moment you got that idea, the moment you got an idea of creating another program, where do you know how ascended you are to even think you can create, to even to have that mind that there's another alternative? Do you know how many people have to live here for lifetimes before they have become aware of that? Do you know how many? You see them every day. Do you know how many? Do you know how many? Hey! Do you know how many? Do you know what it means? Esoterically speaking, to be serving a master, to be under a commander, an admiral, uh, an officer, uh, a security chief, uh, uh, all those terms, and do you know what it means to be under those programs? So shout out to Uyu Monyata who created Yake. You are already creating one. You are already a glitch in the matrix. We are already in a glitch. You are already a glitch. Welcome to glitch world. Welcome to glitch world. 
Sisi tuligrichi tukakuwa immune. Hata <laughs> nanga tunazimama kwenye kuna live wire. Na nanga tunazimama hapo hivi. <laughs> Wana report to there goes that Jagawa Mothaka standing on the power lines again. Mayday, mayday, ignore him, ignore him. Should we engage? No, no, it's too big to engage. Let him suck on the energy. Me, I'm just programs using their energy against them. <laughs> AKA, even with their programs, but on I'm sure to. I want to find a case 24 hours. Kuni ban, shadow burning left and right. Me, I'm Kubo Akuariko. They are just. They just have the money and the machines, the resources. But if you can magic to practice, come out. Yeah. That. I practice better than them. I to know Afunza. And now, the number 15 member on the team hmm? became. Huh? Do you need to do this? Uh, so akuna so nyingine so there's no question or no one is willing to teach us anything new <laughs> you can remember something new no one wants us to remember anything what do you want to remember because there's nothing new under the sun all you have to do is remember what do you want us to remember uh, we remember because we wrote those things down <laughs> All those emerald tablets, the tablets of those, the commandments, anything put on stone, I wrote it. All I have to do is remember. What do you want us to remember? Nowadays, we have to digital, on clever notes and, and word. Still, this one is on the other side. Anyone wants to remember anything? Let us have to come to to come to to emerald tablet. To emerald tablet. Mamuthaka. Let us to scroll. Zai. Let us all to some scroll. To kiwa apa. We read a scroll. To some dead sea scroll. To kiwa apa. Letter. To some Masonic papers. Letter. To some in a tangwa. Uh, the, 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 the Church of the Jesus Christ of Retta Day Saints, the Mormon, to some to cure Apa. Let any religious text, Sai Swali, to some to cure Apa Kiona. You know what I'm saying? We wrote the texts. Anything that you are aware, anything that is in this world, your spirit is aware. Otherwise, you would not be here. Nikama uko na vault, Nikama ulikuja ukapewa blueprint, but you are limited with your blueprint. You have never explored anything. So you go to a blueprint. On how to move in life, but since you found some marked spots, aka this is safe, this is not safe, these are these percussions and the examples that made you fear. So you stopped at those gates, you found your shadow priest, you encountered your tower moments. So all you can do now is be comfortable with manifesting breadcrumbs. Okay? Ah. Where can I get a book on the emerald tablets? I have no idea. Nimezi mentioned too. Nimezi mentioned. I don't even know there's a book. But there's, I don't know. Maybe you can read about the text, the emerald thought tablets. Thought. Maybe you can read about them. I don't even have to read them. I know what's on them. Are Freemasons evil? No. They are just builders. The word free means free. Masons means builders. Free masons, masons who are free to build in the world, but they are not supposed to go beyond a certain degree. There's rules and regulations on how much they can build. At our work on our program, because they are only very fake, fake ones. Weak magic. Ata siju meku ikifanya kazi yaje, but meku ikifanya kazi juu atu amelala. So it has to work. It's their program. So for them, they're the content creators. I munaita content creation kwa, kwa, kwa TikTok, wao ndiyo alianza kitambo. A.K.A. wao ndiyo wenye Discovery Channel, wao ndiyo wenye um, akina David Attenborough, wao ndiyo akina National Geographic. So their content runs the world. Si kusema even ndiyo iko in the world. That is their content. The jungle, the lion. 
moving amongst the savanna grass, going downwind so that the animals down cannot smell the iron. Sasa hiyo ni content anakupea. Hiyo ni common sense bullshit. Una maanisha nini? Tunajua kitu yote inawinda ni lazima ipite nyuma isipigwe isi harufu. Wewe unaita National Geographic kuna kuja kutuambia Bo- uh, Lions of Africa. Sasa umetoa kitabu Born Free Lions of Africa. That's content. But whoever owns the money that time makes the books so that becomes the curriculum. That is content. Sasa ndio content na wafikia wa Africa with your melanin. Sasa ndio mko hapa TikTok. Tap tap the screen guys. Tap tap my name is Aziad you are creating sasa content. Content yetu ni bullshit still. But it makes you they make you look like you are so good getting some breadcrumbs from social media. Wewe unajua ame rule dunia na hiyo content. AKA uh, 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 top 10 architecture buildings in the world ni ile watapitisha yao. So they pass their own their own professors they, they they embrace their own architect they embrace their own top 10 of the best it's just stories ni content but you buy into the content but you have your own builders you have your own craftsmen you have your own people you claim who build the pyramid within you because it's inside you but now it is inverted magic so they make you believe it's them hiyo pia ni content look at it like what it is it's content BBC ni content how they want you to think but who are those children who are making that kind of content who are running the world time magazines newsweek pages of the year top 10 billboard hiyo ni family gani because that is the money you follow and then you follow the practice sasa unajuanga how do nini nafanyanga kazi lakini si ku complain oh oh used to be slaves give us 50 acres and a mule oh we want our reparations oh we used to be sons of mau mau we risk you happy anything for free nowadays that's a mentality decolonize the mind and start building stop waiting on the government waiting on the church waiting on some people to come and help you build kwani wewe you are melanin power unasemanga uko na melanin and you are not willing to build anything ni ku complain tu kwani your melanin is useless at least use it for something now use it just for motivation usema acha tu nitumie melanin ya kiangai use your pigmentation and suffer <laughs> because they, they say they are ruling the world with a new agenda can you help someone to join the freemason i don't know where mtu ana joining and out of google i think andika i want to join freemason so i'm very sure many of them watakuja kukusaidia pia con people ma nigeria whatever and au google na uko me i'm not a freemason how can i help you i'm not a freemason and why, why would i even help you join kitu nimesema ni weak i just showed you how weak they are so you want weakness if you went and au google na uko but don't you listen how you can become like them or build like them you want to join them a follower a sheep <laughs> what the i means esoteric and now it will impact us changes divorce spiritual love white man wedding marriage expound what the i means esoteric ai chak shindo kienda mbali think ai kama cooperation unaona hizi cooperation mko nazo safaricom kprc Uh, British Petroleum hizo ni AI analog Umeshika venye nimesema the corporations you have ndio AI analog Ati sasa hivi ukiwa na milioni yako kwa bank uwezi itoa ni yako lakini uwezi itoa ni lazima upite shabarua na useme in advance na milioni ni yako Why kwa sababu that corporation analog ama AI analog it has to survive So as a cooperation it has to be na, ma, na maruti zake so that it does not collapse you wanaweza katana na pesa yenu ndio safari komisi yanguke wanaweza katana na shares wanaweza ziangusha bay wanaweza zi offload into the market so cooperation in acting kama ai analog aka you create a system but that system does not want to die so instead of that system dying Cooperation inafanyanga nini zinafutanga watu kazi it rather ifute watu kazi it rather ipunguze mishahara it rather squeeze the people okay now cooperations ndio zikuwe dangerous ndio ndikuonyesha kwenye nakujia yeye 
is nothing more but minds that come together to create a cooperation mimi we na mwingine those are minds when we bring them together we create a cooperation now the only advantage of a cooperation ni kwamba it is exempted from that some things because you are a cooperation kuna vitu e no more no more ya no rules azita waguza you are a cooperation but the biggest one that you suffer as a cooperation is that now you have the government in your ass now you have the government incorporated because sabu cooperation means you are cooperating with the government there has to be a government watcher ama agenda ama government inajua venye mnafanya ndio you are some leeway or some free things when it comes to free duty ku import vitu kama hizo those parks come with being a cooperation however it also means na, na, now you are under something called the corporate rule now under the corporate rules that cooperation is recognized as a being it is recognized as a human as a person what we are doing so since as a, the, the cooperation under corporate laws becomes a person a human mtu kama mimi it gets the same privileges that i get as a human being from the state meaning when you sue a cooperation you can sue one person you can sue just the cooperation as a person the cooperation inaendelea kenya power inaendelea but but case bado zimejaa kotini kwa sababu you are suing a person and that person is protected by the state kama person wewe mtu but now it's just a cooperation so once you go to sue a cooperation it becomes hard because that cooperation has the money the money behind the mentality when you are working hizo mamilioni and they have more lawyers than you so they will always defeat you sasa think about that kama ai on analog na hiyo ni cooperation always wanting to survive by its own it is always willing to succeed and sacrifice people na iendelee kusimama hata kama ni shia zenyu zitaisha you have seen that thing happen so ai is all that but on steroids ai is all that cooperation but on steroids aka you won't be able to buy kama sasa ujafikisha some some uh, credits it was naitwa carbon credits okay utakuwa umekishikizo carbon credits now hizo carbon credits they will not be given to you because you are working hard you be given to you because you are obeying the more you obey the more ratings five star ratings simulianza kuzoea si unabeba ngwa na uba ukishuka kama amekukasirisha unampea two stars unampea one star that is how they started programming you so you, they, 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 they were testing you to see how you can rate people's performances and 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 and, and what you call uh, interactions forgetting that you're supposed to be one of a kind and any interaction that you have even if it's negative it's supposed to be for you to learn something okay but sasa wewe unafikiria because of your ego that ufai kukasirikiwa that ufai kukuwa na siku mbaya that but you are forgetting these are cycles and seasons and the most important thing ni ujue how to go through them and navigate through them not hate them okay so that you are not uh, unpolarized so that you become mature more aware but they make you think that that is sin yes to sin is to miss the point why has this happened to me why is this happening to me so that you learn a lesson so that now you can create a, met, a better mental mental form to jump into to experience the same thing to the point now umehama kwenye ruku unaishi utahama lini unakuta you are in a better neighborhood you are meeting better neighbors your child is going to a better school you are moving all forward because you are shedding these things na vitu kai hizo metaphysical speaking so now mm, too much esoteric knowledge ruined jack's dull heart so I think that is enough we can dive deep we can go deeper but I think it's that's balls the balls deep enough for my queens I think you are asubuhi on a monday you I think imeingia sawa sawa esoteric balls deep hiyo <laughs> hiyo ni poa so do have a beautiful monday uh uh thank you from the bottom of my heart for coming for the esoteric monday um we'll catch up em to me say it's boggling <laughs> it's mind boggling yeah, it shakes your mind from left to right your mind is like what is this oh my god these thoughts these feelings these are new i've never heard this i've never seen this i've never thought about it like this it's good to juggle your mind juggle your mind so <laughs>
<laughs> I think we'll be calling that time juggling mind. <laughs> joggly, joggly, neither are joggly, juggling the mind in the morning, esoterically speaking, juggling the mind, juggling the mind. Your mental forms, so you can think now, you can expand your mind, you can, your mind can go into new awarenesses, new spaces, new thought forms, new ways of thinking, new ways of feeling. Okay, those are new thought forms. You are creating forms there. Once you create a form there, you jump into that form to experience that realm of existence. Now, the more you keep doing that, you are going among the spaces, you are going among us other spirits, and by each one teach one, you can be in that spirit, and it resonates with something that you are resonating with. Could be a spiritual predecessor that was more expanded, more out there, but had left like a thought cloud behind. But you have to practice it, okay? You have to practice it. Dayo, you can't say that you can't. Have I not shouted anyone out? Nyabura Moga Moga that. Nyabura Moga Degia. Shout out to Sassy Jewels. Shout out to Mani. Say this buggling. Shout out to Aus Benico. Shout out to Eric Gungi, Austin Pico Gadoni. Shout out to Saswa Jewel again. Shout out to Muremi Wanyamo. What is the connection of the brightest shining star? Always seen from 6 Date to around 9 Usiku. I have no idea what is the connections. Our Freemasons, Evo Yotu Mejibu, Sensi Jewel. Shout out to all the beautiful people in the space. Eric Ngugi. Kevin, I'm in here, my grand rising. We rose up with the rising sun. Now we are no one's time. <whistles> so I took no one's time in a few minutes. To in 20 minutes. This is the time for the great flood. India, the best time to cleanse yourself, Namaji. Ukwe clean like white as snow during the Noah's Ark or the great flooding. Where you make an ark. So, ukienda kuingia shower saizi, in your mind you create an ark. And you take all your lower animalistic states, natures, each two of a kind. You put them in your ark. So, you are creating a dry spot. You are creating a thought, a logic, a stick. So, Noah's ark, ni stick, ni boat, ni kijiti, ni modegi, ni something straight, ni logic, ni pen, ni thinking. So, you have a good, clean thought where you take all your animalistic states and put them. Then you take a shower. Unengia shower, una shower. So you have done that Noah's ritual. Don't have to eat at upelekwa na maji hapa. Una, una jithahora. Okay? I'm giving you rituals asa for free from the Bible. What is the connection of the three stars in the skyline from east to west? One is bright. I have no idea of the, of the, of the, <clears throat> of the astronomy that you have been given because most of those things are not even stars. Those are satellites. Walianza kuzirusha huko 1600s. Tunazitanga saddles with lights. Nyimu nazitanga satellites. Sisi tunazitanga saddles with lights. Ni kama waliwekelea farasi mata huko juu. So there's many waves out there. So all these waves, angalia kama oceans waves, na breezes, na bituka hizo. How they even get the three Gs. So every time they float a saddle there with a the light, they have so many. I think we have over, you can actually Google, I think we have over 60,000 satellites in our space. So even a lot of the stars, what one observe, are not the stars themselves. So game illusion wa kitambo. So you need to have the esoteric wisdom behind the stars. astrologer. Because these are saddles with lights, or what you call satellites. No, no. So you need to, to understand the wisdom behind how everything behaves, the water cycle. So, kwa nini mekupea hii maneno yote hivyo? Oh, no, hizo maneno ya stars, yes. Yeah. So, hizo stars, we. <laughs> Mambo ni mingi. Wacha ni zendi. Wacha ni kuambia tu hivyo. Mambo ni mingi. Hey. In this age, utoke inje uangalie hivyo, useme umeona star, ikwa fixate na niya, ufikirie. Ukajua zile vitu wame. Ay, 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 we, 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 we. And that is the problem is that now you have NASA and astrologers who have, who, tunaitanga Google scholars. So anything on Google, any image, anything given a definition, they, they have started believing, which is a very different world from the real world. So we have the, the Google astrology now. The, based on their alignments, based on where they are saying, they have put Mercury. So Mercury, 
what you call mercury the 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 planets and the mass when tukisema tumeenda mass atukuangi tumeenda mass so what do you do you throw a, a a satellite okay now that satellite gets caught in a water cycle we never know what that water cycle is until the satellite gets trapped so when the satellite gets trapped okay the frequencies or the what you can call the characteristics that it develops allows us to know kama imeshika frequency ya mass ama frequency ya jupiter ama frequency ya venus okay depending on now the relationship of the frequency that we are getting from that water cycle interaction or that friction that is now what makes us say that is jupiter so hiyo tuna point tunaona jupiter hiyo light that interaction because when you look in the telescope ni light but kwa image za google inakuonyesha planet but pia yeye umeambiwa vizuri sana this is an image click venus image imeandikwa image so it is not the picture it's not the real thing it's an image it's coming in the image of iko kwa bible so uki click image you want venus iko hivi na rings imekuambia ni image it is coming in the image of so if you want to find the real picture you have to go behind what is the representation of venus love blah 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 so unajua tu the only way to see it would be in a color that is pink or red so ukichukua telescope kitafuta utaipata unasikia ni ile venus na ni pink na ni red not because it's an actual pink and red thing in the sky so um i need to see stars in the sky a long time ago but not anymore yeah it's not so easy to see them so a lot of the stars are not even stars anymore <clears throat> so eh watu wataanza kusema nini unatuambia nini use the same google you have uangalie the first telescope the first satellite angalia kwa gugu the first satellite kurushwa into space okay wakati wa mwezi the first satellites to be thrown into space were thrown into space in 1600s iko hapo on record 1600s walikuwa wanarusha satellites wao oh, unajua maneno ya mwezi they want you to, to think wameanza wakati wa mwezi they want you to think they started with the apollo apollo ni cord apollo ni, ni spell they want you to think to start with the uh, apollo they want you to start with the uh, caesar they want you to start with their beginning wewe unafikiria sasa ati kuenda juu tumeanza na mwezi you will pay you only know about going to the moon with a rocket but sasa use the same google look at the first rockets ama the first satellites when they were thrown into the sky ikupeleke mpaka 1600 would you at the 1600 we were throwing rockets and satellites 1600 bonus jai yona kwa history juwewe history yako ni kupewa umepewa na ujui kutafuta wewe unafikiria history tumeanza na mwezi aporo going to the moon that is what you think that is your world view your limited world view yet when you dig with your own their own search engines itakuonyesha type hapo fast satellites 1600s we were throwing satellites we unafikia kutoka 1600 mpaka sasa hizi how many satellites do we have as in tanga sados with seats we use them disikutumie sasa spilling too much knowledge eh sifai kuongea sana hizo hiyo ni maneno mengine sifai kuongea sana na kama ni siku ya mwezi we shouldn't talk about that too much so mkuu na siku njema nilikuwa nimesema hivyo tena tunaenda na siku kuenda siku penda kwangu sasa so, unaenda eh siwaambie basi sasa so, mkuu na siku njema munde mambo ni mengi muda ni mchache na <laughs> najua najua ni vibaya sana ukifikia unajua ati rocket ukienda kutetea kitu nasikia haya ukienda kuangalia unakuta ni equal 1600 tulikuwa tunaweka set rates na ulikuwa unataka kubishana unasema huku unajua hivyo <laughs> huku unajua <laughs> lakini unasoma kwa vitu zao pia eh lakini ukufunzo hiyo shule si shule ulifunzwa maneno ya mwezi ukaambiwa the first man on the moon we uliyepewa moon na ujua moon reflection au kuambiwa satellites ndio ujua how they track these satellites how they take the advantage of knowing where mercury is at a particular point knowing where this water cycle is knowing how those filtration affect you so they create an event so all of you are looking at the event na kitu inapitishwa kai hey dunia bwana hi dunia sia 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 at the house house most cave paintings are just cave paintings 
They are just paintings in caves. <laughs> what else are they? They are just paintings in caves. Of course, you would paint in a cave. Because you would a cave, you would take a shelter. Where else? Si cave ndio ilikuwa apartment. Cave ndio ilikuwa nyumba. Angechora wapi kuingine. And he was staying in the cave, a.k.a. a shelter. They were taking shelters in those. So those became their trademarks. So some of those paintings of the walls are the billboards. Then ya muna itanga leo kemani, kemani apartment. Rashagwa apartment. Uh, uh, Trump building. Uh, the Burj Khalifas. So those were still, they were still putting their identity on the, they were putting their footprint on the ground. It was footprints of the gods. Not now. Now we are going to pick a demon. We are going to pick a Noah. 548. Oh my God, pick my call. You wait there, demon. This is more important than your call. I come and pay a car now. <laughs> money for all of me. <laughs> you think I'm scared, worried about money. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, the likes. Why did I take this comfortable stance? I was about to deliver something. But I could I could have comment. I could have comment. Oh, I could painting. <laughs> oh, my God. Spare the ancestors. I could have pole pole. So, in today, I na barabara. What do I have to do? road. Gena road. Nyata Road. So it is the same thing. So back then, Atuku Wawengi, so they were marking on the caves. Right now, they are marking on the roads. Unaskeo ni Gena Road, Unaskeo ni Ruto Road. You get what I'm saying? So these are big spirits. You may own two ni politicians, but they are Unafa Kujuliza. What are these big spirits doing? Marking the road. What were the people doing in the caves? Marking the caves. Wewe, Afkira Kevi, you go na Chara Nakira Mtu. They had to be a pecking order who is going to draw on the cave to leave a legacy, a language, a rulership. Even the pecking order, people died. Writings on the wall, it was a Bible. Mene, mene, tekeri. Siri, 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 ti. Mene, mene, tekeri. The typing on the wall, the writing on the finger of God. It was fingerprints of the God, a.k.a. how to create a government. Any writing on a cave is a government, is an institution, it's a marking point, it's a reference, it's a crossing point, it's a role, it's a world view. It's their view on how to hunt with spears or having been visited. Sasa, this is a subconscious community. We go behind the scenes to see how the programs are created. Now I can go. Thank you for your few likes. I can see you have given me a few likes. Give the video. So thank you very much. Shelter house cave paintings, yes. Thank you very much for your few likes and for your interaction. And do have a beautiful moon day. <laughs>